I call the clerk. Private Members Business Notice Number Two, Ms. Marino to move motion relating to Think You Know program appearing on the notice paper in her name. I call the member for Forest. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. I move the motion relating to the Think You Know program in the terms in which it appears on the notice paper. Is the motion seconded? I think the. Honourable Member, I call the Member for Forest. Thank you, Mr uh, Deputy Speaker. Uh, I think all of us understand why there is a great need for resources um, in relation to um, children's safety online. And Think You Know is a free evidence-based cyber safety program that provides presentations to Australian parents, carers, uh, teachers and students. It provides information on the technologies young people use the challenges they may face, and importantly, how these challenges can be overcome. And the presentations are delivered either face-to-face -face or digitally. Think You Know aims to provide parents with the tools to create a safer online environment for young people in their care. The presentations cover what young people say, see and do online, covering topics such as social media reputation management, cyberbullying, sexting, online grooming, online gaming, inappropriate content, privacy management, identity theft, how to protect devices and how to report matters when things go wrong. The program bridges the knowledge gap between adults and young people so that everyone has an understanding of the roles they play and what they can do if something goes wrong online. The adult and youth presentations have been designed to align to ensure adults receive complementary information to assist them in communicating with, young, with children and young people about the technology they use. It is becoming increasingly urgent to bridge the digital generation gap. I know this through the presentations I do myself. Ensuring that parents, teachers and carers are vigilant for the signs of online dangers. In 2015, Mr Deputy Speaker, the Australian Federal Police received more than 11,000 reports of online child exploitation. And predators are very clever at exploiting vulnerable young people, exploring um, the online environment as they do. So it's even more important than ever that we know the risks our children may be exposed to and how to minimise these risks, including where to report problems. Educating parents and teachers about how to keep our children safe online has never been more important in my view. And this is why, Mr Deputy Speaker, I've given hundreds of cyber safety presentations to schools, community groups and parents. In 2015-16, the Think You Know volunteers delivered more than one presentation each day of the year, a total of 386 to more than 10,000 parents, carers and teachers. They're doing a great job. In 2015-16, State and Territory Police delivered Think You Know presentations to more than 150,000 school students from years three through to year 12. Think You Know is a vital initiative that demonstrates the commitment of the government to educating our children on how to stay safe, respectful and resilient online. The majority of states and territories across Australia are signed partners with Think You Know, including WA Police, Northern Territory Police, South Australian Police, the New South Wales Police Force, Tasmanian Police and the Queensland Police Service. Think You Know is yet another example of the work the government is doing and the Australian Federal Police working together to keep our children safe online. And uh, as is the work the government is doing with the eSafety Commissioner, Mr Deputy Speaker, when you look at the Think You Know website and you see the practical tools, how to have fun, it says, how to stay in control, how to report, and a great cyber cafe. And it covers a range of different um, uh, issues in the how to have fun, in chatting, in instant messaging, in emails and mobiles, in chat rooms, on social networking sites, in file sharing and gaming. Very practical support for young people. And of course, in the how to report section, um, a lot of uh, young people don't understand who they could be talking to, where those people are, and what they actually might want from that young person. And uh, they're told on the Think You Know, si uh, th no site, um, sometimes things make them feel upset. 
People play games and share pictures. Some things make them upset. They may say nasty things and upset children, or they might see things they don't like. And of course, it's not their fault. They need to tell their trusted adult straight away and uh, tell them about what's going on online and to save any messages that may have upset that child so that they know um, you can show that to the person you're telling it to, your trusted adult, whether it's your school, your teacher, the local police, whoever's required. And of course, there is no way these young people will get into the trouble for this, Mr Deputy Speaker. Order. I call a member for Forrest. Thank you, um, Mr Deputy Speaker, and I uh, seek to continue my remarks around the, the Think You Know program and the need for parents to be very well aware of what their children are involved with online. And uh, the issues around our also, not just Think You Know, that's one initiative of this government, the Office of the E-Safety Commissioner is another, and a very, very valuable resource it is too. And of course, um, one of the issues around Think You Know is a wonderful children's line that's available. It's a free service for young people. And the number for those that might be interested is 0800 1111. Now for young people, what they will find at the end of this line is a counsellor who is going to listen, who won't make judgments, and who will um, be able to give them good advice. Because this, uh, when young people do something um, silly, or they make a mistake, or they come across things that scare them, um, they often won't talk to mum or dad. And in my experiences in the um, hundreds of cyber safety presentations, and just listening to children in those presentations, a number of them choose not to tell mum or dad, or even a trusted adult. That's what I ask them to do, is to find that trusted adult because they are worried that mum and dad might either punish them, take away the device, or limit the amount of time they can have or use the device. So when that is the case for a young person, I really encourage them to either call the children's helpline or this child line that's part of Think You Know. And as I said, not only is it a free call for these young people who are worried about what's going on, it actually doesn't show up on their phone bill either. And given that that can frequently be a very important issue for a young person, it's a very good service to help them deal with what they need to deal with online. Now, we know that the majority of people using the wonderful resource that is the internet are there for the right reasons, but for the proportion that are not, children uh, need to know how to stay safe, where to go for help, and who to ask for help, which is where the Children's eSafety Commissioner comes in. And when I talk to young people, I cover items such as um, Facebook and Twitter, their digital and online footprint, cyberbullying, the issue of online grooming for sex, which unfortunately is too common, Mr Deputy Speaker. It's interesting, and I talk about sextings and scams as well, it's interesting that the youngest person so far that we've had, uh, the mother of a young girl who was 11, who rang my office after one of my presentations to say that after listening to that presentation, her 11-year-old daughter had come home to say, I'm, I've just realised I'm being groomed online for sex. 11. And in some of the other presentations I've done, the young people who've come forward are 13 and 14. And when we talk about um, the issues around um, image-based abuse, and we see young people who take uh, naked or semi-naked photos and share them, that is also a great concern. Only um, a couple of weeks ago, I did a presentation in this, to a school in the southern part of my electorate. And I've had a parent ring me since. And he said, my 13-year-old daughter has just told me that she shared a completely naked photo of herself with her boyfriend. And they've now separated and uh, he has chosen to share those photos with his new girlfriend and others. So the thought of a 13-year-old girl sharing those photos in the first place is an issue. But then uh, what happens to those photos and the fact that they are basically there forever is of real concern. The fact that the child was able to talk to her father about this problem was a positive. And the fact that then he was going to talk to the e-safety commissioner about how to get these dealt with uh, was even better. 
but it is very important that young people need to assume that whatever they share could well be available for others to sh see, use and share um, almost indefinitely. And that is something that I find frequently that young people do not understand, and even adults don't understand in this space. Um, simply pressing delete on your particular device is not enough because this is out on the internet. And subject to the um, opposition support, I'll continue my remarks later, Mr Deputy Speaker.